everyone, and welcome to the Mid Week War. We are here to talk some Lucha Underground. I am excited. I am Mad Mike. Y'all know who I am. With me, as always, is the one and only Sorgatron. Yes, I am here. We're here to talk about Lucha Underground, and now I have a new appreciation for the police. Uh, to, for, to, for the police. All right, uh, Sorg. You know how we do here on Midweek War. Qual es tu palabra para lucha underground? Uh, it is definitely the five zero. That is not a word. That is two words, Sorg. Kind of three ish. My word is bacon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Bacon. You know why? Because you know what goes good with some bacon, Sorg? Hmm. Some nice hot coffee. I gonna anyway. Say, I was going to say bagel bites. Well, that too. And some donuts, actually. All of that goes good with bacon. <laughs> yes. All of it does. It's like, it's like having breakfast in the temple, really. Uh, Sorg, qual es tu bueno para Lucha oh, Underground? Oh, no, no, no. Before that, I just had this idea of like breakfast with Lucha Underground. And, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, wrestling dinner theater in <gasps> Espanol. Oh, no, no. You know what's even better? Imagine it like the, um, the breakfast you have at Walt Disney World where the characters show up. <laughs> Oh, oh God! I just want Matanza to like use a stamper to sign someone's autograph book, but it's in blood. So, <laughs> like you just see a giant bloody handprint in someone's in some kid's autograph book, and like that's when I saw Matanza. <laughs> Anyways, my good was the fact that there was a "We Want Jonuts" chant. Um, Sorg, what? that wasn't the best chant of the night. It wasn't the best, but that's the one that stuck out to me. That's the one okay. I remember. What was the really? best one? Cavity search? Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. I forgot about that. I was trying to block it out, apparently. Yes, cavity search being chanted at a wrestling show and then applied. Yes. Uh, this is the first wrestling match I've ever seen in my life. In my life, Sorg, that is involved three separate liquids <laughs> four four if you count Joey Ryan's entrance that is impressive this is the wet is this impressive. is the wettest wrestling match ever i um i i think you just took a turn there but okay i think, right. I think this whole show took a turn I, yeah, but anyway, four separate liquids. So it's the four horsemen of the Dripocalypse. <laughs> it is. Like you had, you had Joey Ryan's baby oil. Mm -hmm. You have rubbing alcohol. Mm -hmm. You had coffee, and you had pepper spray. That's impressive. Yes, it is. That's damn impressive. And you know what? Not even. The most lethal um, liquid in pro wrestling, which, of course, as we all know, the bottle of water at ringside. Yes. The bottle of water at ringside. Um, all right. Um, me bueno this week. <sighs> um, I got to make an of mice and men reference on, on the Twitter feed. You, you, you did? That was my bueno this week. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I just picture um, Matanza talking to Dario. Tell me about the rabbits, Dario. Because <laughs> because he faced the rabbit tribe, and the, and then and then when when Lenny finally got to the rabbits, he broke their fucking necks. <laughs> yeah, he did kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that it, is it, accurate. It was it was of mice and monsters. <laughs> of mice and monsters. Come on, come on, Sorg. That's a high class reference right there <laughs> it's a, it's a very a educated it's a very well read reference. reference yes yes that is there's literary underground for you with actually sorg <laughs> sorg new idea new idea for the lucha underground off season we have a lucha book club and we relate it to lucha underground storylines new 
podcast idea, Sorg. Uh, you also pointed out in the chat room, Alex out there on the West Coast is saying that uh, that was the uh, cleanest wrestling matches with all that rubbing alcohol. Yeah, I, someone might actually be able to scrub that ring, which mm-hmm. is good because mm-hmm. there's a lot of blood and it's dirt. Looking and pretty dirty. It's looking pretty yeah. dirty. Somebody's going to get a staph infection off of that thing. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Um, so, Sorg, when, but not... on, when a pizza's on a bagel, you can have pizza with coffee. <laughs> oh god why did no one use a bear like a bear claw with a bear claw why did no one do that like just um, grab a donut and just do the iron claw in the face so it's a bear claw i i also love that our friends on the west coast <laughs> are, are, are telling us good morning and then realizing it's 2 p.m here yeah yeah that's always that's always great um <laughs> Sorg, not every show is perfect, as we know. No. Not even shows with um, hashtag police brutality. Mm-hmm. I think. I think mm-hmm. that's how we do that. But um, Sorg, Koalas do Malo Padalucha Underground. We didn't get. We didn't get uh, Puma's partners for next week. Oh, okay. Um, w- would you like to speculate? I I, I want to see a left turn and we get like Pentagon. But Pentagon's already fighting Dragon the second. Next week? Yep. Oh. Next week. Oh, then then I have no no picks. Then it'll probably be like wait, then Dragon Azteca. Wow, I don't know that. Uh huh. I maybe he just gets a rabbit tribe. I don't know. Okay, here are here are my picks. Mm-hmm. You ready? Ray Mysterio. The Mac. Sexy Star. <clears throat> mm. Sorry, I, I had a little cough. Uh, but yeah, Sexy Star. Probably. Okay. If that I had sense. to guess, that makes sense. Because we're cause we're probably pushing a Sexy Star Taya thing. Yeah. Who all Who all has been feuding with members of Worldwide Underground o- over the last few? I mean, but it's mostly been Puma, I guess. So. You know who I would love to see? Um. I want to see uh, Masqueria Sagrada. Vinny Massaro <laughs> and oh Arhenis. <laughs> I want Puna Puma to pick like three guys he know isn't going to help him and he just wins anyway. <laughs> because he never <laughs> tags them in. Yeah, yeah, that could be fun. Well yeah, even I, Cortez. I, throw Cortez in there. I I don't know. He he might be he might be lingering from things. Because I don't even know if we're going to see Cor- – oh, no, because he's in the Gifts of the Gods, so. Yeah, yeah, because he got that. Yeah, but we might not see him again until he gifts the Gods. Yeah. Um. Yeah, all right. Uh, so my uh, Mimalo for this week is that the, the Mac versus the Drago match was just a regular match for a medal, for a medallion. Okay. It should have been it a fire-breathing match. It should have been a fire-breathing match or something. It should have been something. Mm-hmm. Like a, I don't know, a, a Dragon's Lair match. It's not where, special where it, enough that we have the Mac and Drago in a match? I don't know. Drago's one-third of the trio's champions. Which we keep forgetting I'd about. Rather see, I'd rather see that defended. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, he didn't even bring the belt out. Yeah, he did. He did? He did. He absolutely did. Okay. All right. I don't remember seeing the belt. Because it's been, it feels like it's been years since we've seen the trio's champions. Yeah, it's been like at least half of the season at this point. Yeah. Um, but uh, so I mean, I don't know. Like I, this, just all of that seemed weird to me. Mm-hmm. All of that seemed weird to me. Like, a, I thought I should, I thought the Mac should have won. Because Drago winning either tells me one of two things: either they're going to lose the trio's championships before Ultima Lucha. Or there's not going to be a trios championship match at Ultima Lucha. We do have a lot going on on top of all the titles we have here. Is yeah. Lucha Underground too busy now? I think the tournament really hindered it. Okay. Because the tournament went on for a long time. And while we got a lot of fun matches in the tournament, it ultimately kind of... It, it, like it, they kind of went chalk at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Like when we could have done something a little bit more fun with it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, and, and we're still getting Prince Puma versus Shiny Mundo. I mean, 
gonna be a great match that's that's not even a question and i love that because i feel like we're going full circle i feel like whatever happens after this and i i, I you know maybe this is their thinking because obviously they haven't filmed now maybe they didn't know at the time either way you end full circle with those two at the end mm-hmm. yeah because they're they're the main event on the first right lucha underground episode. I, I, if god forbid there is no lucha season four we end on that note yeah uh, but all right. So Sorg, um, do you have a combio? Uh, what, what will be your change this week? I think I would combio. I, I like your bear claw thing, so I, that's that's kind of a consideration. Um, but uh, <laughs> the that that idea. Um, no, no, I loved I love so much about that match. I I don't think I would change much of anything. Um, and I even liked, you know, Mac and Drago as, as a thing. Um. Would it have to do with maybe the the last stipulation that we got for Mundo and Puma? I was I I kind of like the mask idea. Mm-hmm. Of course, in my head, I keep running into things like I was like, "Oh, Johnny's gonna lose the belt," and then which is perfect timing since he shows up on TNA this week, like during the Mysterio match, right? Uh, so in my head, I'm trying to connect dots for like what happens now with what's going on now. And that's well, the he's already he's already on impact, right? Exactly, and yeah. and and so I I keep falling into that head trap, and I keep forgetting like no lucha belongs over here, and it doesn't get affected by anything else that happens, you know. So so I get stuck in that personally. Um, as far as an actual change, I would have stayed with the mask. Honestly, I would have just stayed with the mask. Okay, um, if, if I had to change something this week, I would have. I feel like we need an update. On um, Cage and Mil Muertes. Yeah, there's definitely things like that that feel like we haven't touched on it for a while. But isn't that a little soap opera-y too? It is, but I I still want to see like a guy with a with a gauntlet for a hand, like just that's true. That's true. We just need that's true. we just need our our head squish moment of of the month, and mm-hmm. we're good to go. And uh, also, I feel like you you talked about the possible mask. Um, mask versus title match i feel like we need to address something mm-hmm. that we completely forgot about last week because we were caught up with all the sexy star stuff that is true because um, that was brought up sorg uh marty the moth versus phoenix mask versus hair mm-hmm. holy shit that's going to be really fun i i don't even know who's gonna win that because i think photos you'd see of marty now he probably grew his hair back by that point. Yeah, they're, they're like, I'm like, if, I'm like I don't think I've seen, have I seen a recent picture of Marty the Moth? Is is he? I don't know. So now you're like, I don't remember. So now people are tracking back, looking for probably pictures of him at indie shows like a year ago to see how his hair looked, maybe. Oh, and uh, Tina is telling us in the chat room, congrat, congratulations to Cage and Melissa Santos. They have birthed a tiny deity. No, no, they're expecting, they're expecting, they're expecting, they're expecting and Tina, they're expecting spoilers, DVD. no spoilers on the Lucha show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tech, Sorg, yes. you technically don't know who the father is, so that's not a spoiler. Oh, that's true, too, that's true, too. You'll find out in season four of Lucha Underground. <laughs> yes. Um, now, I have a question. Is someone just going to knit them a tiny uh, glove? <laughs> It's a little glove with a little not, diaper. Not a pair of it's gloves. Just, just, just one. Just a glove. It's the just other one. Just a glove. It's not yes. metal yet. It's just a little chain mail thing, you know. Uh-huh. And just I would love to see that. Squishing kids on the playground and jeez. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, Sorg. Sorg. Is is that baby going to punch through her abdomen? It's going to patch. Oh, no. It's going it, to it's gonna go oh, all no, alien wait, on are, us, you are mean? Are we dealing with alien, Sorg? <laughs> jeez. I don't know, but all I know is it's going to be the most attractive and physically dominating uh, uh, a child ever. Yes, that that is absolutely true. That's that's some good genetics right there. Mm-hmm. Some good genetics. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Sorg, Sorg. Where, where, oh where, do you rank Lucha Underground this week? It is number one till it goes off the air, baby. <laughs> it is uh, just absolutely. I don't know, I don't that I, I never want to presuppose that Lucha is going to be number one for the rest of the time, mm-hmm. but it was definitely number one this week because 
Joey Ryan, we didn't even really talk about him. They finally gave him a showcase. Mm -hmm. Like, we got to see everything Joey Ryan, except him flipping someone with his dick. Mm -hmm. Like, of all the things, I love love seeing Riot Gear get smashed. Yes. I love that so much. Like, Cortez even, like, held the Riot Gear and did, like, a charging shoulder block with it. I'm like, yes! The use, awesome. the use of the policemen were awesome. Um, that they pulled a cop car in there was awesome. Um, the point where Vampiro uh, told us about how he spent six days in jail on a vacation in Spain um, got weird. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> I think both yep. of them admitting that they've had their head knocked against a uh, police car once or twice. Um, and uh, no, there is a lot of there is a lot of fun happening there. That that match was just. That was great. Like, I thought the crowd was just being assholes for, for training We Want Donuts, but then, nope, there was a fucking donut table there. Like, I know, and you had no idea until they went over there, too. Nope. And they, they did a very good job hiding that with the cameras. We had a taser. We used the we used the, the car. I mean, it was just like... Like, I, I, you know what? To add to my change, I think the only thing I would have changed, I wanted um, Joey Ryan to scream, don't tase me, bro. Yes. That that should have been a thing. Oh, and we didn't mention he got tased to the testicles. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, I sorg, I love that Nat Striker brought up. Well, he's already had the coffee poured down there, so he's wet already. Yep. As if, as if you need to be somewhat saturated for a taser to work. Which you don't. No, you, you 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 don't. But the the whole point was, remember when they they threw a bucket of water on on Bret Hart when and and used the cattle prod on him with the mounty. Yeah, yeah, same concept. Yeah, I know. I, I I'm aware how electricity works, but you don't. But I are just, you, I Mike? Are you? I I am. I'm a little familiar. Okay. I'm a little familiar, but I it was just su- such a fun match. Just such a fun damn hell ass match, like it's really really good. <laughs> like they took every trope that you could possibly think of and just did it. Yep. Alrighty, Sorg. Uh, where can the good people find you on the internet? Sorgatron, Sorgatronmedia dot com. A lot of fun going on there, including a sports show that has just debuted this week over there. Our friends at Bull of Pittsburgh have a new sports show that they're uh, piloting right now. So go check it out. Let us know what you think about it. It's going to be very Pittsburgh centric, of course. But um, I, what was the what was the first quote about um, something about uh, uh, sports, marijuana, and do do you remember that? Two, two, two Pittsburgh kids that love sports enough to start a podcast. That's the line. That's like that's what we're describing it as. That was one of the most like, I can't remember. It was it was something about like like sports, marijuana, and something else. I learned it on the South Side. Was one of the lines from it. If that gives you an idea. So um, it's fun. It's about sports, uh, and it's gonna be. And and the marijuana just becomes like what everybody gets nabbed for if you read sports news. So that don't. It's not that kind of show. Uh, so, um, it's a lot of fun. Again, check it out. You might like it if you like our kind of humor here. Uh, Steve's a real fun guy, and I haven't I, I haven't listened to it quite yet because it just went live this morning. Um, but go check it out and uh, give us some feedback, and uh, and hopefully it'll be a, a longstanding uh, a member of the Sorgatron Media Network. Excellent. All right, and you can find me at Mad Mike Four Eight Eight Three. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet Lucha Underground and make references to a Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck cartoon <laughs> because it most certainly was Rabbit season. And then Lucha Underground themselves inform me that there is no monster season in the temple, and they're absolutely right. Uh, <laughs> right. That's I saw that. that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a real thing that happened. Um. All right, so, Sorg, we will be here next week for the 100th episode of Lucha Underground. And you better believe I'll have my 100 episode mug here right on the Mid Week War.